So the holiday movie weekend kicks off today, and there are plenty of family-friendly films to check out. But are they worth all of your money? Joining us is Chicago Tribune film critic Michael Phillips, here with his reviews to let us know if we're going to spend or save, right? That's right, that's right. We, and we got, we got to be careful with our money these days. But I got two good movies and one really great movie to talk about. Okay, which is let's nice. jump in. Okay. What's, our first one is Coco, which is a Pixar film. Coco is it's the 19th Pixar film, and uh, it's it's really good. It's I don't know if it's like one of the great, great Pixar classics. It doesn't matter. You know, it's hard enough to make a good one. This is about a 12-year-old boy uh, growing up in a Mexican village, and uh, he's trying to figure out why there is this family curse uh, that prevents any love of music or any music at all in the family. So he has to, you know, travel to the land of the dead. This is on uh, Dia de Muertos, a Day of the Dead. And so you have these two worlds in this film, uh, and, and the way Pixar imagines this other world of the dead, the, um, the land of the dead, which we see right here, is really, really special. So it it's is. a, yeah, it's good. And this one's a great film, obviously, for, you know, a, a wide age range this Thanksgiving weekend. Pixar is fun because both kids and parents can go together and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think often with a Pixar film, especially like Inside Out and Up, you get, you get more real world feeling and mm -hmm. emotion than a lot of animated films ever mess with. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next up we have um, The Man Who Invented Christmas with Dan Stevens and Christopher Plummer. Yeah, you may not have heard of this. Uh, Dan Stevens from Downton Abbey uh, plays Charles Dickens and the uh, movie's kind of like Shakespeare in Love and it's imagining how Dickens uh, he came to write uh, A Christmas Carol back in the 1840s, and it finds Dickens in this really low ebb in his career. He's had three flops. Wow. He needs a hit. He's on a deadline. He needs money to pay his contractors and feed this enormous family of his. And it's a really diverting film that, uh, that I think if you have any, any knowledge at all of, uh, of A Christmas Carol, it really pays off to kind of find out where the real-world inspirations for Dickens uh, turned into the Ebenezer Screws played by Christopher Plummer that we see in the film. And it's a, it's a, really, it's a really charming film. How many stars are you giving three it? Three stars for Coco, three stars for The Man Who Invented Christmas, and that's solid wow. good, solid good. Yeah, that's, that's worth going to. Yep. Okay, the third one is Lady Bird. Okay, Lady Bird, great. Four stars. Wow. I love this. It's probably my favorite film of the year so far. Writer director Greta Gerwig's dealing with a pretty simple coming of age story, just a one year in the life of a high school senior in Sacramento, California, who really wants to move to New York when she get, and just get out of town. I've, I've seen a million coming of age stories. I'm sure you have too, but I've never seen one that has this kind of charm and real heart. Laurie Metcalf from Steppenwolf mm -hmm. Theater is, I think, the surest sure thing at the Oscars for a supporting actress, absolutely. And I think wow. this thing, I think it's gonna win Best Picture. That's a, I said it here. You said it, it's on TV, it's I, recorded. It's, I can't take it back, We'll it's check in late. with you. <laughs> okay, we have 30 seconds, so real quick, Wonder and Justice League. Okay, Wonder, I just caught up with Wonder yes. yesterday, and it's really good, and my, our eight-year-old at home is reading the book, and the movie, I think, really has a, a big impact, and it made a huge impact at the box office opening weekend, and they, they kind of, uh, uh, didn't ex didn't see that coming, I think. But Wonder's really good, and Justice League. I can't tell you, uh, you know, uh, how much you should avoid that film. It's. Uh, <laughs> it, I've heard such mixed reviews. It's no, no mixed. Who are you talking to? My mom liked it. No, <laughs> your mother. I don't want to bring her on. I'll talk to her. Okay, I'll have her call you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you, then. So to check out the Chicago Tribune site for all of Michael's reviews, you have to go there and check it out. And